Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today we have a short update. Well, actually, a short update on an update in Apex Legends has just been pushed out now. There's a few different things to talk about, so let's jump into it. First things first, the Battle Pass changes they talked about last week. Some of them did not go live last week, but they have gone live now. So when you log into the game right now, you'll get 10 free Battle Pass levels. This is live now. Go jump in game and you'll get your levels. The weekly challenges have also been adjusted back to the Season 6 formatting, which essentially means they're going to be a little easier to do and you're going to have more legends to choose from when you do them, so you're not forced to play specific legends. Now remember, weekly challenges do not set at the end of the week they're always going to be there throughout the season so over time you're probably going to get these completed no problem by the end of the season chances are if you play a decent amount like four hours per week then you're gonna be tier 100 or 110 especially with these changes what's really exciting is they've pushed out some audio adjustments this patch which may mean we're getting some improvements in terms of the audio performance in the apex legends audio engine this is something that we've needed for a long time the patch doesn't really talk about how much it's been adjusted unfortunately but we can really hope this is a big change the audio has been terrible in olympus the audio has been the worst it's ever been it seems every season it just gets worse and the devs did talk about how they're trying to fix it but they could not pinpoint an issue specifically and then moki sniper noticed that the audio sounds were playing for enemies healing all the way across the map and perhaps this may have helped them to solve the issue we don't know but good job moki on that video that's really awesome to see hopefully the audio is better today we'll have to go and test it out rampart's turret can no longer be put on crypto's drone thankfully that was a lot of fun but a bit crazy if you're caught in the middle of all that so that's pretty crazy and there's a bunch of miscellaneous fixes which they did not put on twitter unfortunately there does not seem to be a source for these fixes either so it's probably just bug fixes and that stuff the patch itself was pretty large though weighing in at a sizey 660 megabytes now i don't know what the reason for this is it's quite a large patch now it may be because they pushed out a change to world's edge yes world's edge is now back in rotation alongside king's canyon now the change isn't that big but the big rocket ship has removed from the map it's no longer there you just have this big open area in the launch site area which is really quite interesting we'll have to see if there are any other changes around the map but as far as i understand that is it for now if you find any other changes in this update do let me know and if you want to see me playing on world's edge with horizon definitely check out my main channel all right everyone thank you so much for watching i'll see you all in the comments cheerio